Uh, my name is uh, Timothy Thomas, and uh, I am the CEO of uh, IFNA Advertising Agency. We're, we're quite a quite a big deal in New Zealand. Uh, well, you know, at least in the in, in the South Island, I'd say we we're at least ranked top three. Oh, hey, 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 Tim, mate, Tim, mate, um, can I grab you for a minute about the avocado client? <laughs> mate, as I keep saying, I'm not doing the avocado client. Tim, Tim, I think it's a good deal, all right? I'm not doing the avocado client. So anyway, come with me. I come from a long line of, uh, of cattle auctioneers, believe it or not, yeah, a bit of an agricultural heritage. And have to admit, I think that has reflected into my professional, you know, advertising working environment. So, uh, you know, we've done quite a quite a few meat-based products. Uh, we've done Wham, and and Wham is a is a competitor to uh, to Spam. Tim, he's a racist. Well, like against vegans and vegetarians, and like I did catch him trying to put meat into my salad. You know, it's not just me as well. It's like all the other non-meat eating employees here. And like, it's just comments all the time. It's so rude. <sighs> Bloody hell, Karen. It's all that soy product blood you up or something. <laughs> but like, honestly, I do think he fancies me a bit though. But seriously, do you do you want to drink after work? Hi, my name is uh, Clark. Um, I've been working at um, IFNA, well, well, since the beginning, actually. Back when it was all Timothy Thomas and Associates advertising. So being head of HR means that I deal with all the complaints and the complaints process with all the employees. And, um, well, in the past few months, we've been getting quite a lot of complaints about Tim and his actions towards the non-meat eating employees. And, well, this right here, this is the complaints we were getting before uh, we started hiring non-meat-eating employees. And uh, this is how many we've gotten since we started hiring non-meat-eating employees. Um, I think the problem comes from Tim's upbringing. Um, his father and grandfather were quite big into cattle auctioneering and meat's just been quite a big part of Tim's life. Um, I just don't think he understands why people choose to not eat meat. And so anyway, if we come down here, I'll show you animation. So oh, uh, hey, Tim, know. mate, Tim, mate. Um, do you mind if I please have a quick word with you? What do you need, mate? Um, um, is it all good if we just sit down? Yeah, sure. Okay, oh, cool. Um, just, yeah, just yeah, shut that. Um, Do you realise how many complaints we've been getting about your behaviour towards our non-meat-eating employees? No. Mate, they're calling you a vegan racist. I am not a vegan racist. Well, well you're going to have to prove it to them, alright? Because they're saying they're going on strike. What did you mention this morning? The avocado client? Yeah. Look, mate, I think this would go a long way for the company. Good for the staff, give us good money as well. What do you think? No. Yep. Yep. Let's do it. All right. Yeah. I'll go make some calls. Okay. I'll see you on Monday at staff meeting. And do you think if I did this, you think Karen would get a drink with me? Fantastic. Right. So I will see you on Monday for staff meeting. Right. Have a nice weekend, mate. Right, yo, everyone. It has uh, come to my attention. They had a lot of you are not happy with the other practices that we are doing in this advertising agency. Uh, the fact that everything we do is meat based. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I think that's a wee bit too far. But I've heard a name that you've been calling me. Vegan racist. And personally, I'm actually quite insulted that this would come from my own staff. So, to prove you're wrong, I'd like to introduce you to our newest client. The North Canterbury Avocado Growers Association. <laughs> Glad to see everyone's uh, getting into it. Can you even grow avocados in North Canterbury? I... You serious? 
Why else would there be a North Canterbury Avocado Growers Association, mate? Come on. So anyway, uh, Clark, Karen and myself are all going to uh, meet with the NCAA and uh, then we're going to shoot the commercial tomorrow. So um, just thought I'd let you know everyone that I am not a vegan racist. This is our newest client and uh, get back to work. Cheers everyone. The meeting with the NCAA went, uh, went great. Uh, they wanted us to provide all the actors, so uh, we got Clark in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the chair. How you doing, Clark? Oh, yeah, good, mate. How are yeah, you? Yeah, so, uh, you know, we thought he'd be a, a great representative for, uh, you know, all that. But, uh, you know, the staff have stopped calling me a vegan racist, so, you know, there's a real, there's a real upside to, uh, to all of this. Right, I think, I think we're about to start. North Canterbury Avocados. It's good. <laughs> well, like, these aren't avocados, this is polystyrene. One minute. No, Tim! You stop! Where are the avocados? They're in, they're in the car. Will you bloody get them? I have to admit, I did swap the, uh, the avocados. Mainly but just because I, you know, they're a really weird feeling. But b besides that, you know, I composed myself, went and got the real ones. And, uh, you know, Karen was impressed with actually how, how I composed myself. So, um, when I asked her for a drink, she actually said yes. We went to a, a vegan tapas bar and, uh, you know, it was good. Have to admit, though, all that bloody soy product made the bed into a Dutch oven. Oh. Oh, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll have to take this. Yeah, we lost the client. Guess I'll, uh have to uh, tell the staff. Hi everyone. I've, uh, I've got some bad news. We are, uh, we lost the client. Right. I'm not even surprised at this point, honestly. So okay, every... okay, but wasn't our fault this time. Turns out the North Canterbury Avocado Growers Association was actually a front for a large scale marijuana operation and they were using the advertisement as recruitment in Japan. No what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. what now? Well, anyone willing to do some newspaper adverts for, uh, for Wham? Yeah, I'll do it. Cheers, mate. Fantastic. Right, back to work, everyone.